Hello friends, today I am going to show you how to configure long running uh, transactions report uh, for the customer. Here I am having one query. So for demo purpose, I am um, like uh, to show that how the report will come generate. So I am maintaining as a one minute. If any query is running more than one minute, so it will give an alert. Okay. Uh, okay so for this query so right now i just uh, run the query with the delay command to show this demo this query has been running from the last 10 minutes okay so uh, you can configure this uh, t sql code in the long running job i have configured here is just what you have to change here is you need to change your outlook profile name and your email ids here if you have multiple email ids you can uh, put the com semicolon uh, and you can place that n number of email ids and uh, you can simply you can mention your group dl or other in the subject name uh, alert you will customize from the instance name you can mention direct the instance name as well so that if the customer uh, that uh, the person who received that email will came to know okay uh, from this instance i got this alert so he will know that okay so it, it is been running you just conf if you want to uh, configure the job how frequent you want to this and you can configure that much of time for demo purpose i'm directly running in the master so click execute yeah it was done just go to that email uh, refresh your email id refresh it once again yeah so we i got the alert see here you can see alert long running jobs from this so and so instance so it is been running out for delay this is the 12th session and last session has been running okay so uh, these mean i mean no more than one minute so this is how you can configure uh, long running jobs uh, for your SQL uh, server. So I'm going to give this uh, query in my WhatsApp group and I will please do join or otherwise I will give in the media file. So in which medium you are comfortable, you can download from that. Thank you. Bye.